In statistics, path analysis is used to describe the directed dependencies among the set of variables. This includes models equivalent to any form of multiple regression analysis, factor analysis, canonical correlation analysis, discriminant analysis, as well as more general families of models in the multivariate analysis of variance and covariance analyses. In addition to being thought of as a form of multiple regression focusing on causality, path analysis can be viewed as a special case of structural equation modeling, one in which only single indicators are employed for each of the variables in the causal model. That is, path analysis is SEM with a structural model, but no measurement model. Other terms used to refer to path analysis include causal modeling, analysis of covariance structures, and latent variable models. History Path analysis was developed around 1918 by geneticist Sewell Wright, who wrote about it more extensively in the 1920s. It has since been applied to a vast array of complex modeling areas, including biology, psychology, sociology, and econometrics. Path modeling. In the model below, the two exogenous variables are modeled as being correlated and as having both direct and indirect effects on N2. In most real models, the endogenous variables are also affected by factors outside the model. The effects of such extraneous variables are depicted by the E or error terms in the model. Using the same variables, alternative models are conceivable. For example, it may be hypothesized that X1 has only an indirect effect on N2. Deleting the arrow from X1 to N2, and the likelihood or fit of these two models can be compared statistically. Path tracing rules. In order to validly calculate the relationship between any two boxes in the diagram, Wright proposed a simple set of path tracing rules for calculating the correlation between two variables. The correlation is equal to the sum of the contribution of all the pathways through which the two variables are connected. The strength of each of these contributing pathways is calculated as the product of the path coefficients along that pathway. The rules for path tracing are, you can trace backward up an arrow and then forward along the next, or forwards from one variable to the other, but never forward and then back. You can pass through each variable only once in a given chain of paths. No more than one bidirectional arrow can be included in each path chain. Another way to think of rule one is that you can never pass out of one arrow head and into another arrow head. Heads tails, or tails heads, not heads heads. Again, the expected correlation due to each chain traced between two variables is the product of the standardized path coefficients. And the total expected correlation between two variables is the sum of these contributing path chains. NB. Wright's rules assume a model without feedback loops. The directed graph of the model must contain no cycles, i.e., it is a directed acyclic graph which has been extensively studied in the causal analysis framework of Judea Pearl. Path tracing in unstandardized models if the modeled variables have not been standardized. An additional rule allows the expected covariances to be calculated as long as no paths exist connecting dependent variables to other dependent variables. The simplest case obtains where all residual variances are modeled explicitly. In this case, in addition to the three rules above, calculate expected covariances by compute the product of coefficients in each route between the variables of interest, tracing backwards, changing direction at a two-headed arrow, then tracing forwards. Some overall distinct routes, where pathways are considered distinct if they contain different coefficients or encounter those coefficients in a different order, where residual variances are not explicitly included, or as a more general solution, at any change of direction encountered in a route, include the variance of the variable at the point of change. 
that is, in tracing a path from a dependent variable to an independent variable, include the variance of the independent variable except where so doing would violate rule 1 above. In deriving variances, the path from a dependent variable into an independent variable and back is counted once only.